If you recall more than a decade ago, there was a category of computers called netbooks. They offered portability and battery life that laptops back then couldn't. But unfortunately, they were eventually replaced by Chromebooks and tablets due to their low power performance and their really bad displays. So in 2021, we are starting to see that concept come back in the form of the ASUS BR1100F laptop. Now, even though this looks like a pretty dated laptop, it is actually a 2021 product. It's made by ASUS. So this laptop runs full-fledged Windows 10 Pro and it's a laptop that's designed for kids. However, here we have another laptop, which is the ASUS Chromebook Flip C214, which is actually pretty similar price to the BR1100F. This retails for 1699 ringgit, whereas this retails at a slightly cheaper price at 1579 ringgit. So which one of these laptops is better for your kids? Let's find out. This video is brought to you by our e-store, Good Deals by KLGG. You can now pay for your favorite gadgets by 0% installment with your credit and debit card from 100 ringgit up to 6 months by checking out with IOU Pay. What's more, get 10 ringgit off and free nationwide delivery on your first purchase. Visit the link below to find out more. Both the BR1100F and Chromebook Flip C214 feature rugged designs that are built to survive accidental bumps, drops, and water spills, so you shouldn't have to worry too much if your kid has slippery hands. They also sport the same 2-in-1 form factor so that kids can also use them as a tablet. Despite looking almost the same, the C214 is 200 grams lighter than the BR1100F at 1.2 kilograms, which gives it the benefit of lightening your kid's school bag and using it as a tablet. These laptops have 11.6-inch displays with a 1366 by 768 pixel resolution. They have very thick bezels, but I prefer the more symmetrical one on the C214. These screens don't look pixelated at all, and colors are pretty good for videos. However, the BR1100F has better maximum brightness at 250 nits and supports stylus input. Although my C214 unit here came with a stylus, I was disappointed that it doesn't work at all. Both devices have good spill-resistant keyboards and offer great tactile feedback. Although the BR1100F's keyboard looks cramped, I find it pretty nice to type with my adult fingers, so it shouldn't be a problem for most kids. But between the two, I still prefer the C214's keyboard due to the larger keycaps and slightly better key travel. When it comes to trackpads, I prefer the BR1100F's larger and more precise trackpad. The C214's trackpad works fine, but there are times I experience tracking issues which can be unpleasant. Having a good webcam on such devices is really important because your kids are going to need it for classes. And I'm really happy to report that both laptops have pretty good webcams and they are definitely way better than any other entry-level laptops that I have tested. But between these two laptops, I'm actually preferring the image quality on the Chromebook C214 as opposed to the BR1100F because the image quality on the C214 seems to be a little sharper and it has better colors as well as compared to the BR1100F. However, one thing that the BR1100F has over the C214 would be a privacy shutter. Right now, you can see me, and right now, you can. All right, so, you know, kids these days also need a little privacy, so it's really good that you have that privacy shutter built in on the laptop. Interestingly, both laptops feature a world camera built onto the keyboard area, which can be used as a main camera in tablet mode and is useful for taking photos and class notes if you want to. They are also capable of taking 1080p videos at 30 frames per second. Although the BR1100F has a higher 30 megapixel sensor, I prefer the image quality of the C214's 5 megapixel camera. But your kids probably wouldn't mind either one of them as long as they can take photos of their friends in the classroom. I am very impressed with the amount of IOs that the BR1100F has over the C214. There's even a full-size HDMI and gigabit Ethernet port that eliminates the need for dongles, which is very beneficial to parents as USB-C dongles are expensive and can easily go missing. The C214 may have lesser IOs but it still gets the essentials done. I like that there is a USB-C port on each side that makes charging the device easier and a micro SD card slot for expanding storage. Specs-wise, both laptops use different variants of Intel Celeron processors. They are passively cooled so you wouldn't get annoying fan noise in the classroom. The BR1100F is powered by a more recent M4500 CPU and the C214 is powered by a 2-year-old M4020 CPU. Both are extremely power-efficient dual-core processors that uses only 6 watts of power. 
Other than that, the BR1100F comes with 4GB of RAM and 128GB of eMMC storage, while the C214 comes with 8GB of RAM and 64GB of eMMC storage. Both laptops are not user upgradable, so you're stuck with the respective storage configurations. Judging by their spec sheet, you definitely wouldn't be expecting any snappy performance out of these two devices, but I can tell you that your kid will definitely be loving the Chromebook Flip C214 more than the BR1100F. And that's because Chrome OS is a friendlier, simpler, and less cluttered operating system compared to Windows. It performs way better than the BR1100F despite using an older and low power processor. It takes around 5 seconds to boot up. There's no slowdowns despite having over 20 Chrome tabs open, and launching apps feels almost instant. The user experience is a combination of an Android tablet and a Chrome browser that most of us are accustomed to. The touch and side gestures are not too different from a smartphone, and you even get to download and run Android apps from the official Google Play Store. Windows 10, on the other hand, still isn't quite touchscreen friendly, and the app selection in the Windows Store is just underwhelming. Granted, Chrome OS can't run full-fledged programs like Windows, but considering most learning activities and work happen within a web browser these days, you wouldn't be missing out too much unless you have specific programs that run on Windows. But your kids will definitely find the BR1100F annoying if they happen to multitask and run multiple apps. You know, kids can be more tech savvy than parents these days. Battery life is another area where the C214 leads against the BR1100F because it has a larger 50 watt hour battery as opposed to a 42 watt hour battery on the latter, I was able to get up to 11 hours on a single charge, and the BR1100F only managed to score half the battery life at 5 hours, no thanks to Windows 10 and the constant need to use the CPU and storage to compensate insufficient RAM. So in conclusion, there's no clear winner between these two devices because they use totally different operating systems and it depends on which one you prefer. But on a hardware level, the BR1100 app is the clear winner over the Chromebook Flip C214 because of its generous IOs and slightly better display. It also runs full-fledged Windows so you can install whatever apps inside and if your school requires you to install certain apps, I believe, there shouldn't be any problems when you use the BR1100F. However, if you're not into Windows and you just find that the specs is a little overwhelming for a Windows device, the Chromebook Flip C214 is a really attractive choice and given the fact that most of our work are already on a web browser, so the Chromebook Flip C214 should work pretty well for you. And I think despite it is very different from Windows, it wouldn't be a steep learning curve even for first-time users. Stay tuned for more videos coming right up on the channel, so definitely stay subscribed and be sure to follow us on the usual social media places and give us a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Warren and I will see you in our next video.